Hello and welcome back to Harriet's Custom Computer Art Plus. Tonight I'm going to be showing you how I make these jumbo or the extra large favor bag completely printed. This is going to be the assembly portion. Now this one is the full size one you can see from my hands. This is a, a nice size, nice size uh, box. You can see that the Full, it will take full size chip bags stacked on top of each other. That's one in there. It takes, you can fill it up with all kinds of favorites and treats. I'm going to be making a little smaller version of it just because it's too hard to keep it all on the camera. <laughs> so I'm going to, I printed out one that's a little smaller. So also it shows you you can make them in different sizes with the same template. All you have to do is resize it. If you watch my baseball cap, tutorial you'll see how to resize it um, all at one time so I'm going to show you how how I assemble it now you have two of these pieces and then you have the back and the front piece you can do them both the same or of course you can change it up I just made a, a white copy because this is just for sample to show you a sample of how to put it together right quickly so all I did was first of all I took my half, one half of the um, favor or gable bag and I just put some glue right down this side and you're just going to attach it right on, get this in the camera, you're just attaching it right on to the edge of one of the front or back panels. Right, so that was easy enough to do. So now I'm going to take this one and you want to make sure that that they're lining up correctly that you have the right sides together and I'm going to put some hot glue down this side and then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to line it up with the bottom and press it on. So now we have the two, the front and the back and the side here. Last, I'm going to take this side and glue it along here. So I'll just put a line of glue there. And once again, I'm going to line this up with the corner and the bottom and just press it into place just like that now you see how quickly this goes together and lastly I'm going to glue this side to here so I'll do it this way so that I can uh, easily line it up and see where the edge is so just put some glue down there bring this side over and line it up with the bottom and the side again and press it into place. Now this gives you your gable, your basic gable base or box portion and now all you do is take this piece and fold it on all the score lines and you're just going to drop it inside of your box press it all the way down to the bottom just like that and then all I did was pull the side away and run some glue along the side and while you're pressing it still on the bottom of the bag making sure that it's all the way down you just run your finger through there or you could lay it down and do it that way then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Just put some glue along this this tab. And while it's still flat on the table, let's go in again and press that side in. Do the same thing on each side, which I hard to see cuz the the edges are so high of the box and once again I'm just gonna lay that flat and press that on and 
just like that you see how quickly these boxes go together and you have your 100% printed gable box bottom looks great sides look good and this is printed on glossy photo paper this is the pen and gear photo paper I like to use Kodak is my favorite and then the Epson photo paper is my second favorite um, and I printed these on the Epson EcoTank 4700 and just like that you have a beautiful well I'll keep it on the front <laughs> since I didn't do the back but uh, you have a very beautiful completely printed gable box hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, I'll be uh, uploading a new series of favorite bags to my Etsy site soon called Celebration Bags. But for now, here's the completed full printed cable bag. I'll see you next time.